scary skeletons and shivers down your spine. Shrieking skull will shock your souls. Hey guys, it's Nick from this here, and today I'm bringing you another Mortal Kombat X topic video. Today's topic video is going to be on Cyber Smoke and how I think he's going to fit into the Mortal Kombat X game. Now, I have talked about him in the past. I believe it was in one of my Q&As I talked about Cyber Smoke returning, and I strongly believe that Cyber Smoke will return, and I really want him to because, I mean, he's badass. I mean, who doesn't love smoke and cyborgs, right? But anyways, the other day I contacted the voice actor for Smoke, Ken Lally, and I asked him, have you been contacted for the role of Smoke in the new Mortal Kombat? And he said, not yet, hopefully soon. So, what I think about him not being contacted yet means that he won't come back to voice Smoke. Now everyone's thinking, oh, that means Smoke's not going to be in the game, confirmed. No, it doesn't mean that at all, because you know what? They do it so often in games where they switch the voice actor. Like Infamous, Cole McGrath, in the first Infamous game, his voice actor was this grave, like he had this gravely voice that was very like smoker-like, like he sounded like a smoker. Initial blast ripped through a six-block radius, vaporizing everyone in its path. And in the second game, he had this like completely different voice where he was all happy-go-lucky and had a higher-pitched voice. This is gonna be a short-term visit, man. We're just gonna get in. I'm gonna get some new powers. And Alex Mercer from Prototype, same thing. So, they don't always stick to the same voice actor per game. Also, what makes even more sense is that since I think Smoke's going to be a cyborg in this game, that they're very well going to change the voice actor to, to make it fit more like a cyborg. That only really makes sense, because I mean, they didn't do that in Mortal Kombat 9, but maybe they just thought, well, hmm, maybe we should make him sound more cybernetic, and that Ken Lally's altered voice isn't just going to cut the, you know, make the cut. So I think that Cyber Smoke is going to return, he just will not be voiced by the same guy. And that doesn't really mean, just because he's not being voiced by the same guy, that he's not going to be good. And how I think it's going to happen is I think Raiden is going to um, revive Smoke, because as we all know, Smoke is under Quan Chi's control. Now, I don't know how Raiden's going to do it. Raiden's going to be like, oh look, I'm the god of thunder. And then Quan Chi's going to be like, what? And then he's going to kick him in the face and he's going to be like, Smoke's mine now. <laughs> like, I don't know, Raiden's going to foresee that Ra Smoke's going to help out the, the Earth Realm team very well. He's going to somehow get through Quan Chi and revive Smoke. And then Smoke w will be, you know, good guy again and everything. But, um, what's going to happen is the remaining members of the Lin Kuei, say, let's say Sector or Cyrax, this is where they could come into the story mode. They're like, no way, Jose, and they, uh, they make Smoke a cyborg. Simple as that. And, uh, then he's evil, and that he teams up with Noob Saibot, and then Noob Saibot and Smoke um, become the same alliance they had back in Deception. Uh, that's it's just a quick theory I thought of. Just because Cyber Sm or just because Smoke's voice actor is not returning does not mean Smoke will not be in the game. And yeah, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think Smoke's going to return as a cyborg, or do you think Smoke's just not going to return at all? Let me know down in the comments below. As always, this has been Nick Famous. See you later.